Today, we're going to be making vanilla powder. Hi, it's Rebecca again, and welcome to my kitchen. I'm going to take these dried up vanilla pods that I've had drying out. See, they're nice and dry now. I've been drying them for several days, maybe over a week actually. I used these vanilla pods to make vanilla paste. I scraped out the caviar, and now I'm done with them. So I'm not really done with them. I'm going to make turn them into vanilla powder, which will give me another use for these vanilla pods. So let's do that. I was just breaking them up a little bit extra because, you know, the Vitamix is great, but these pods are pretty tough. Maybe I'll break them up as I toss them in. I love how easily they're snapping. That means they're nice and dry. Not sure how long it's going to take the Vitamix to grind these up. I suspect it's going to take a few minutes because these are pretty, this is pretty woody, you know. The Vitamix is good, but how good can it be? Maybe it's going to be easier than I thought because they're pretty dry. I've been really working hard on drying them. I keep running them in the, in my, just in my toaster oven on warm. And I let it run for an hour at a time, maybe every, maybe a couple times a day. And then I just let them air dry in between. Okay, I think this is good to go. Let's see how long this is gonna take. I'm not gonna make you listen to the Vitamix, don't worry. I don't have dry blades for my for my Vitamix, so hopefully this is not gonna be too much. We'll see. Well, wow, this looks like it's all powdery. I'm a little, a little worried about the powder going everywhere. Wow. I love my Vitamix. All right, oh, it smells so good. Oh, heaven. All right. Well, I'm going to pour this into a small dish and you can see what I've got. I suppose it could be a little finer, although it's pretty fine. I think this is going to be perfect. Okay, I'll work on getting the rest of that out after. Look at that. It's beautiful. All right. So I'm just going to review a little tiny bit. So I got these beans originally from Indri Vanilla. I've talked about it a million times. My favorite group on Facebook, the most positive group on Facebook, but they also have a website. So you can buy your vanilla beans through their website at retail prices or through the co-op, which is part of the Facebook group. And I'm going to link the, their website in the description below. Anyways, that's where you should get your beans from. They're amazing. So this is the last cycle of life for these beans. Well, actually, see, I can turn this powder into vanilla paste or I'm probably going to sprinkle it into foods that maybe I don't want to add any liquid to. I can add it to coffee grounds to make my coffee extra amazing. I actually just made another video on pumpkin pie spice. I sort of think I might add a little bit of this in there. I think that might be, oh, I think that might be really amazing. I think I'm going to trial that and see how it goes. I'm actually making another video on pumpkin pie spiced coffee creamer actually watch out for that one but I think I'm going to add this into that recipe anyways I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you enjoyed today this video you probably will like this one or this one thanks so much for watching bye for now